unplug it. This is how our living room currently looks. It's a bit of a mess. But we are going to rearrange some things to fit the Christmas tree in here. You gonna help out, Freya? You can tidy up. What about? I think that can go on the other side of this. There's a plug over there. The here, Freya. Here's a box. You can pick up garbage and put it in the box. Things behind the, the small couch. The plan is that we're gonna move this over there. Originally, we were gonna put the Christmas tree there. But this is a furnace vent, um, so we don't want the tree over top of this warm vent from our wood furnace and drying out and becoming fire hazard quicker than it needs to be. So we're gonna put it over there. Our Christmas tree base is this, I think it's a four gallon crock. Yeah, four gallon, it doesn't have a lid. Um, and we fill it up with rocks and it's nice and heavy, keeps the tree from tipping over and the rocks are what help keep the tree up. And we can put lots of water in here too. He found a card? Okay. What else could you pick up? Could you put the books away? So it being December 1st, it's the first day of archery season. So Marius is off with his recurve, is this called? Yes, recurve bow. Yes, bye-bye. Bye. To try and get a white tail, and now that it is bow season. Okay, a kid interrupted me there, but in rifle season, you can only get a buck, versus in bow season, you can get a doe or a buck, so that's exciting. Although there's not many white tails here, this is more mule deer country, so we'll see if he gets any. He doesn't really like decorating for Christmas, so he was like, I'm gonna leave you guys to do that, and I'm gonna go hunting. So that's where he's out, headed off while we decorate. Although, you can, uh, you can't quite see him. Well, you can kind of see the one cow there, where he's just fed them some fresh silage before he goes hunting. He always feeds the cows before he goes hunting. Um, this heifer is in a field on her own because she jumped a fence into there and she was a very discontent cow who was always jumping fences. But now she loves being in this field on her own, so Mary just feeds her there and takes care of her there separately and she stopped hopping fences. So, you can see him down over there. Yeah. Oh, there you can see him going there to feed the other cows. And it's so warm, you can see the water dripping off of the roof. Oh, don't put them in, Ham, just put them beside. So we bring a bunch of rocks inside. Go put the paint away, we are not using it right now. Bray, why don't you deal with this pile of stuff on the floor while the boys get rocks? Just bring a bunch of rocks in, Max is gonna bring the tree up, and then we'll situate it with rocks. What you got? We've been warned by Marius to make sure the tree does not touch the hawk. <laughs> These vintage games, we have a few of them. The kids aren't really allowed to play video games, but we have these vintage games that they got for Christmas last year. I have not done much for vlogs recently. Um, I've been doing so much filming and such for my Insiders Club that I just kind of haven't had the oomph to also do it for my public YouTube channel. Um, so if you want more videos, be sure to check out my Insiders Club. Otherwise, I do need to get going on doing more vlogs and such. And um, I've had a big project going on with my blog and doing things there and so, well, oh, there's Rowan getting into some paper. Don't get to sit down for long. Lost my train of thought. Anyways, I'm trying to do more videos for YouTube too. The nice thing about having big kids is I'm here with my feet up, <laughs> listening to them trying to wrestle the tree upstairs. I think they knocked over the recycling. I heard cans going everywhere. No, It's not a pine tree. Oh, we'll be vacuuming, don't you worry. It's my turn. 
So they just went to get a saw because they need to trim the bottom up. They should have just sawed it off, but they were determined to use an ax out there. And to trim off some of the bottom branches so that it sits nicely in the tree stand. We only have not breakable ornaments because we seem to always have a toddler. Piece of the wood? Yeah. It's a spruce tree. Spruce trees smell delicious. Yeah, where did you find Dad's pocket boy? Oh, that's yours. I thought, I thought that was yours. We thought that was yours. You're gonna need to trim the bottom too. I thought this one was yours. No. Hold the tree, not the branch. Maybe it's hold, you can saw away from your hand, sweetie pie. It's a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Yeah, and I showed them the title. Probably board. should have been done in the basement. But. Yeah, well, at least it's not my turn to vacuum. You don't have to rub it in. Go figure that one. I wish it was spray it. I think you should trim the bottom too so that it sits flat. With a saw? Yeah. No, okay, so it sits flat. What do you mean? Like. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. You don't, okay, those ones are fine. The little ones are fine. That, you don't need to go up that far, I don't think. Okay, so there's this just one. Um, yeah, do that one. Flat, because flat would be. Um, mm, yeah, just flatter than it is. Okay. This saw is called a pocket boy, and it's a very handy little saw. It fits um, in the pocket, like the pocket on Carhartt's, it's like right there. It fits in that pocket. That <laughs> brought Roman just crawl under the rocking horse. Um, Marius usually has one in his pocket. I think this is. This must have been the one he had brought out. No, it wasn't. When he was working full time, it was always in his tool belt or just in his pocket. What's up, you? No, he had an orange one. He had an orange one? That's the one that he took out of his tool belt earlier. And we got one of these for my stepdad for his birthday this year, too. This will be very satisfying to vacuum up, Hamish. It will? Yeah. What's his, yeah, you're satisfying and his satisfying is very different though. Hold the tree still. Like brace it against your leg or something and it'll be easier to... I don't want to cut you. See. When do you want me to start? You didn't even start. Kidding. It's too tall, so we are trimming some of the top off. It has two tops. Trimming it off. It's gonna be a little odd shaped. We could have trimmed off the bottom more, but oh well. We're not. Well, odd's not bad. <laughs> are you making even, sweetie pie? Oh. Yeah, here, 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 trying. Just gotta lift it off the ground. Yes, it doesn't touch it. No touching. Whatever the hawks say. Mac, Mac, careful of the hawk. There we go. Now it's far away from the hawk. Okay, Ham and Freya start putting rocks in. Ham, you don't need to be playing with the saw. Okay. Gentle, don't drop them in. Why not? There isn't enough room for my hand. Well, push the tree and do it. Well, try. try and hold the tree upright straight. Oh. Away from the oh. hawk. Ah. Ah. 
We just need one more small rock right in front there. Let me wiggle this again. Wedge it in. Oh, it just fell through a hole. Well, no, that's good. It helps it. It's good. Oh, ruin. I need to go wash my hands. And then we'll this get Christmas stuff. Yes, we only have one tote of Christmas things. We are not a fancy family. This is what this is. Can you go put this away, Ham? With Dad's tools downstairs? So there we go. It ended up kind of near the back and not in the middle because I wasn't really paying attention to that. Um, no, just wait. Uh, I think we're leaning a bit, or it's a tree crooked. The, that seems straight, and then it seems to. Uh, hmm. I think that's as good as this is gonna get. <laughs> it's good because it's actually sturdy enough now at the top that we can put like a nice star and angel on top instead of it just being a wobbly top. That hurt my ears, Rowan. So now it's not a tree. Frey, could you move that away from there so it doesn't break that? Okay. The rocking horse. What are you doing, baby? Baby. Go put the paint away. We do not need any paint. Okay. Okay, I managed to straighten it. Much better. What do you have for you? This is a piece of bird. <laughs> That's a bird. Are you a beaver? <laughs> Last year I got these on one dollar clearance, enough for my three kids, well, my three big kids and my niece and nephew. So you go put those somewhere. Yep. So every year I collect some more ornaments, either either like I got the this one on um, a Boxing Day clearance. I think these ones are from a thrift store. I just, so all their ornaments are not breakable. Stocking. These are from a craft fair that kids did. This, this is, is just stocking. a bunch of. Those are gift big bags that Minnie made. Um, okay, whose stocking is this? Rowan's Rowan stocking. My stocking. Hamish's stocking. That's my stocking. That's my stocking. That's my stocking. Um, that's Freya's. My stocking. Marius. Let me give you a hint here. If you don't care about matching stockings, which I don't, that's my childhood stocking. Marius didn't have a stocking. Every one of my children's stockings, except for Max, because Max was made by a sister of mine. I get them at a the thrift store. Do you want to fold that down, please, Ham? And these ones, I just put their names on them with glitter glue. Can you put the folded top down? I think Rowan's maybe doesn't even have glitter glue on it. Anyhow, I get all the stockings at the thrift store and they are delightfully eclectic. I love this quilted one. Okay, where is the tree skirt? Tree skirt? Tree skirt is the fabric that goes, here it is. Okay, Mac, put, take that down. Mac, that is not for the tree, that is for something small. That's a battery powered one we use for something small. This is just a piece of fabric that we've used as a tree skirt for years. No, Pam, that's just something. Okay, we're gonna get the lights on first, guys. Breakables. Yeah, we have one bit of breakables. Come on. Maybe let's just put them up somewhere high where Rowan can't get them for now. Could you put them up somewhere high where Rowan can't get them? So. Our lights are also thrift store specials. My, Christmas Our Christmas decorating is not expensive or fancy, but it is fun. We love it. I love these kind of fake stained glass ones. They're ones I got at a thrift store. I got a pile of these little wooden ones one year at a thrift store. Hey, sugar Every year I collect a few more. We also, last year when we did, Orange 
garlands. We also did some Christmas ornaments. This one was mine. So we actually have a lot of orange Christmas ornaments. This is mine. But they're nice. They're this one mine. Okay, put all of those away. Those are not something we can have when we have a baby in the house. We have lots of these. They're colorful and they're easy. I have sort all sorts of different animals. These are ones that I got at 50% off Boxing Day sale. Uh, Again, I just love them. Last year my kids made some felted ornaments too. The trick with these is you make them when you're needle felting inside of a... Hey Rowan, you need to get off the couch from behind me. You use a cookie cutter and that's how you get the shape. Just, just leave it alone, Hamish, and don't reset it. Um, that was Boxing Day sale. Boxing Day sale. I think I may have even paid. No, this one was also Boxing Day sale. Boxing I don't. Sale? A couple times, maybe three times, in the time that Mary and I have been together, I've gone and shopped on Boxing Day sales for Christmas decorations for the next year, and not bought a lot, but just a few nice little things to add to our collection. Finish off our evening. Marius didn't come back with a deer, but he did end up okay. popping into town and picking up our order from the sausage factory. Yeah, we brought in 127 pounds of bear meat that Marius had got this spring. It was just sitting in our freezer. We got. We got it split it into basically three 40 pound batches. So we have, we get pepperettes made because we find them honey garlic easier um, to you know divide up a bunch amongst a bunch of people. So we have honey garlic pepperettes and then we have teriyaki pepperettes. Those are favorites. These are staples for us for when we go on adventures or just snacks around the house. Um, that's pepperoni, yeah. Do you want to take the toothpaste from Rowan? And then the dry salami is a new thing for us. This isn't even frozen, this is fresh. Do you want to unwrap one, Mac? Sure. On the counter. We have dinner all ready to have tacos here. Can we trust it? Yeah, probably. 
Hey, we should put it in the fridge. Whoa! I'm gonna get this. What? Oh, that's nice. Nah, so, our hope was this for snacking on and get a chopping board. Um, as well as for pizzas and cheese and crackers and that sort of thing. Oh yeah, because now we can have the giant size pepperoni. Instead of buying it, we have this giant pepperoni. We like to do the giant size pepperoni. Like Dad. Hey. That knife is probably not very sharp. Why don't you guys get Rowan off of the table? Oh, it gives me the willies. And stop doing that. I know the knife is dull, but stop running your fingers along it. <laughs> Could you guys get Rowan off the table? I wouldn't get off the table. He's already trying to eat it. He's already knowing it's tasty. Now that's a sharp knife. I want to have refried beans, which are home canned. And then ground venison. Big pile of taco meat for our dinner. You got toothpaste? Yeah. Back off. Mama gets the first bite. There's more than enough. Why does Mama get the first bite? Um, can I try some, Dad? Yeah. It's got a skin to it. Oh. It has a skin to it. Yeah, well, it's Max, stop that. It tastes a little bit like summer sausage or garlic coil. Mm -hmm. That's, That's yummy. It's good. Okay, guys, we gotta put that away. Dinner's all ready. It's dinner time. This has a bit of casing on it. No. What do you think, Rowan? Yeah. Eat it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, you can do better than that. Look what my mine looks like. Our total, so it's not cheap to get this sort of stuff made, but it's a convenience we love. And um, so basically, it was $150 a batch. Why does it say cool? roughly? These are probably about a pound, maybe a bit more. These are $250 a pound, and these feel a little lighter than a pound, and they are $315 a pound. That's plus tax. So delicious they didn't have to add much pork fat it was a good bear you want more rowan hey, Mom, let's get you ready for dinner <laughs>